What's going on guys? Magnolia Mo here and welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about DAX. What is a DAC? Do you really need a DAC? Do you really need a DAC? Do I need a DAC? Do I need a DAC? Does anyone need a DAC? Does anyone need a DAC? What is a DAC? What? In simple terms, a DAC is a digital to analog converter, right? We have DACs that are built into every device, right? You have DACs that are in our phones, you have DACs, you know, that are built into your tablets, your laptops, your receivers, your processors. So every, every device has a DAC. And why? Right? The reason is the audio signal is saved, stored, not recorded, but stored in a digital format, right? In zeros and ones, right? Gone are the days. We don't have analog tapes anymore, right? <clears throat> I used to have a tape recorder, tape deck, tape player, recorder. I was all analog. Yeah, I have vinyl, still have vinyl. Vinyl is analog, right? But for the ease of transferring data, right, in this generation, right, uh, whether it's streaming, uh, whether, uh, you know, it's on a, you know, on, on physical media, it's all stored digitally in zeros and ones. Our brains do not understand zeros and ones. Our brain understands the analog sound wave, the analog waveform, right? The analog waveform is derived from converting the digital zeros and ones into the analog waveform, right? So you have your device, you have your, let's say you have your, your tablet or your, your, your phone. You got your digital signal right here. In order to convert that to an analog signal, you are going to need a digital to analog converter like these so this is where you have external DACs this is a an audio quest dragonfly red which is a headphone uh, DAC and you can also connect it to your to your receiver you have this right here this is this is my old faithful I love this this is the Asus Zoner Essence SDX uh, computer computer sound card uh, and this one, this thing, 10 years ago, was one of the best DAX, computer DAX that you could get, right? The signal to no noise ratio on this is 122, 123 dBs. Um, this had the, the, the Burr Brown DAX, not the, the Sabre DAX or anything like that, but this had the Burr Brown DAX on it. It was very good. I just couldn't, couldn't handle anything above 192 kilohertz. Uh, and then you have these external desktop or uh, you know these external DACs this is a, a pre box s2 from project which actually has your uh, all your connections it's got the USB the, the di digital coax the, the optical audio and then it's got the analog out for the analog waveform right that is that is a DAC now why do you need these DACs right that's the question right people people ask me like why do you have so many DACs, <laughs> right? So why do you need all of this, right? Don't you have one that's built into your phone, into your laptop? Yes, those are included. Anything that's included can't be that good. I can guarantee you that right now. Sound is not the priority, trust me. Okay, sound is not the priority. The DACs are not, the, not, not a priority. And therein lies the problem. The DAC that is built into your device is of a low quality grade. Right? And it's fine. It's perfectly fine. You know, you can just plug in a pair, pair of earbuds that you have and, and just listen to your laptop, for instance, on the fly. It's perfectly fine. But the minute you hook it up to high quality headphones or to your two channel rig or to your home theater system, you are going to hear a difference. I guarantee it, right? You're going to go, what the heck is this, right? So that is therein lies the problem, right? Because now you're going to go, well, this is not so great. I just, I, I subscribe to Tidal or I subscribe to Spotify. I'm not getting the right type of music, right? Or, the, or I'm not getting what I was expecting, right? That is the issue. So to recreate, to recreate the original analog waveform that was created by the artist, you need to have a high quality DAC, whether it's a high quality computer DAC or an outboard DAC 
or what or just that audio quest that I was talking about that little thing does wonders okay that little thing upgrades your audio your standard audio from your tablet or from your laptop or from your computer right it takes it to the next level you will hear the difference when you're listening to to your subscription right let's say you're listening to Spotify uh, coming out of the standard decks you know using high quality headphones for instance and then switching over to the audio quest with high quality head with the same headphones it's almost like the mu the music now has layers right you are actually hearing texture you're actually hearing things that you didn't hear before the highs all of a sudden get a lot more smoother they have uh, they're not edgy at the top right in the highs and then the bass is more well-rounded right so it's just it, it's a whole new it's a totally different experience that's why you need a DAC and we can go get into you know the the high uh, resolution audio the high sampling rates the different types of high-res music that you can get in a separate video but in this video all I wanted to do was just put out a beginners level what is a DAC? Why do you need a DAC? And uh, what types of DACs there are, right? So in the next video, hopefully, we'll talk about the different types of high resolution, you know, music that you can download and, and can you really hear a difference and so on and so forth. So I hope you guys like this video. As usual, please leave me some comments, some feedback, um, and uh, let me know your thoughts on this, uh, on this subject. All right. And I'll see you guys in the next one.